Is the reaction that occurs in this cell spontaneous? Write down only yes or no. Give a reason for the answer. That is 8.1 prelim 23. Let's take a look and see what is happening. So a galvanic cell is set up using an MN and an unknown metal X. The initial EMF measured under standard conditions is 1.05 volts, as we can clearly see there. The electrons flow from the MN to metal X in the external circuit. Right. And then 8.1 is the reaction that occurs in this cell spontaneous. Yes, it is. And why do we say so? EMF is greater than zero. If the EMF in this cell is greater than zero, then the cell is spontaneous. This reaction does not need any external energy for it to occur. Right. Does it not need anything? It does not need power supply, unlike in an electrolytic cell. That is 8.1. Taking a look at 8.2 which electrode x or mn is the unknown okay so the answer to this question is here in this statement the electrons flow from the mn to metal x in the external circuit so we need to recall our basics with regards to a galvanic cell the electrons they flow from the anode to the cathode in the external circuit so if they flow from mn to metal x then mn shall be the anode and then the metal x shall be the cathode clearly the electrons flow from mn to metal x in the external circuit so mn is the anode and x is the cathode okay we just apply in the basics here and uh, that is 8.2 8.3 use calculations to identify metal x so we are given the initial EMF, which is said to be 1.05. But obviously, using our table of standard reduction potentials, we can obviously find um, the potential at the unknown, which happens to be our cathode. So at the cathode, this is where we have our metal X. This is where we have X. And then at the unknown, that's where we have mn like we've deduced so now let's go down and look for our table of standard reduction potentials uh, we can use table 4a we can use table 4b all is well right there's no difference really so let's go ahead and look for mn and see where it is so let's take a look mn where do we find it at we have mn right there so the reduction potential at the anode is minus 1.18 okay and then we know that the emf of the cell is given by the reduction potential at the cathode minus the reduction potential at the anode okay so the reduction potential at the cathode and uh, that is where we have our metal x right so the potential of x and then at the anode we have minus 1.18 so 1.05 will be equal to the reduction potential at x plus 1.18 okay so the reduction potential at x will be equal to 1.05 minus 1.18 so that's more like saying 5 minus 18. So we get minus 0 0.13 volts as our reduction potential at the cathode. So still sticking to the um, table of standard reduction potential, it should be easy to see that at the cathode, uh, if the reduction potential is minus 0 0.13, we must have Pb. We can clearly see there that the uh, reduction potential is minus 0 0.13. So, right, X is PB. We can clearly see that. Right, that is 8.3. Uh, let's take a look at 8.4. Right, 8.4.1. Write down the two standard conditions for this cell. Okay, we know fully well that we need the temperature uh to be 25 degree celsius right or 298 kelvins 
that's one of the conditions that we need another condition we need is concentration and uh, to be one mole per decimeter cube these are our standard conditions okay 8.4.1 8.4.2 on the other hand uh we are looking for the cell notation okay so obviously we know that we have uh what is happening at the anode the salt bridge and what is happening at the cathode essentially so at the anode we have uh, mn like we talked about right so we're gonna have mn the metal and then mn to the two plus the salt bridge and then pb to the two plus and then we have pb okay um we can show the states here that that is a solid that is also a solid and here we have aqueous solutions right we can show the states yeah we can even go further to show the concentration also that the concentration of these aqueous solutions should be one mole per decimeter cube Okay, that is 8.4.2. 8.4.3, reduction, half reaction. Reduction, half reaction. So, reduction occurs at the cathode. That's where we have a gaining of electrons. So, we're going to have PV to the 2 plus. That gains 2 electrons to become PB. There we go. Nothing complicated there whatsoever. Uh, that is the reduction of reaction and then if the question was looking for the oxidation of reaction we would have mn uh, given off two electrons to become mn to the two plus plus two electrons and then we can sort of combine these two into overall cell reaction right uh, to get mn plus pb to the two plus uh, giving us mn to the 2 plus plus pb this would be the overall cell reaction but anyway stories